17 more positives were confirmed Sunday night, and six of those cases now include our youngest residents, Public Health Director Linda DeNorsi. Of course, that was a one-year-old um, individual. It's a baby, of course, and it was due to a household contact. In regards to the 10 to the 19-year-old uh, age range, there were five. And of the five, three are household contacts. One was travel-related from Honolulu, and the other one was a social event where they got the infection. It is troubling, um, and it's just a demonstration, again, that the COVID virus does not discriminate against age, sex, ethnicity. It is through all socioeconomic uh, statuses. It, it's a virus, and uh, it doesn't, uh, it's not selective. The governor adds that unless the public steps up and takes the isolation measures more seriously, the numbers will continue to climb. I ask the people of Guam again to please um, ab abide and comply with these measures. Um, it is very crucial that we do this as we are starting to see more increases in our cases. And uh, the only way that we can decrease these cases only way that we can uh, eradicate these cases is through social distancing, through staying home, through decreasing social contact, and so forth. Meanwhile, the governor has asked senators for legislation authorizing a curfew for all and checkpoints to limit unnecessary travel. But at the media briefing, she said she's not heard back from them when session will be held. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Laconto.